I think you're probably fine to unmute and, and do that recital for us, Johanna. I don't think there's going to be any problem. I don't know. Maybe Johanna's distracted uh, with something going on. Uh, Nancy's still around. Nancy, could I ask you to recite for us? Okay. Hold on a second. Let me... Um, um, I'm not sure what that... Is that a... Oh, Michael is with us. Very nice. Okay, let me just um, find the verse again. Here we go. Welcome, Michael. Great to have you, brother. Anytime you're ready, Nancy. Okay. Sure. Um, via, via, via get. Nice. Via Law. Get. Law. Shemuel. Beautiful. Very nice. Et. Kal. So this is an exception that we just learned. It should be coal. Yes. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't coal. worry about it. Coal, right. Coal. Adbarim. Nice. Velo. Kihed. So this one's a little tricky because it has the the growl on both letters. Chi ched. Chi ched. yes. There you go. Chi ched. Right. Mimenu. 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 It's actually Mimenu. Oh, Mimenu. Right. The valve at the end. Okay. Mimenu. Right. Vayomar. Nice, Vayomar. So this is our... our, our okay. Ho. Who? Who? Hatov. Hatov. Beyena, Beyenav. Well done, Beyenav. Ya a se. Well done. Very nice. Duncan, are you still with us, brother? Let me see if Duncan's with us. I want to get him get him in. Hello, hello, I'm here, I'm here. I'm I'm grateful for your patience. Thank you for hanging in there with us. Now I can Finally, invite you to participate a little bit. Thank you very much. Sure, so, sure. Could we start by asking you kindly to recite the verse for us? Um, in which which one? I can't see the from where I'm beginning. It's um, verse seven, verse um, seventeen. Oh, Actually, the one that by get the one beginning by get right, right. Okay. Vayaged lo Shemuel et chol adavarim velo kichad. Imenu vayomar Adonai hu hatov beenav. Right. Hatov beenav yase. Very nice. Hatov beenav yase. Very nice pronunciation. The methodology we use to begin translating is to identify the shorshim, the Hebrew roots. Um, these are verbal roots, and I've indicated them in red letters. Um, in most cases, we have all three letters of the root, um, but there are many roots where especially the first letter drops out. Um, for example, the very first word of the verse, Duncan, Pronounce that for us slowly once more, the very first word. Vayaged. Uh, Vayaged. So the the root letters are the gimel and the dalet. Um, there are some clues that tell us that a nun has dropped out, but that the full three-letter shorash root is nun, gimel, dalet. 
And we want to look up the Shoresh in the dictionary. We want to know what that Nun Gimel Dalet means. So we're going to go over to our little dictionary here. And we're going to look for Nun Gimel Dalet in an alphabetical listing of words. So I'm scrolling slowly and let me know when you see Nun Gimel Dalet. You tell me when to stop. Yeah, I've seen it. And the meaning is kindly? To tell. Right. So armed with that information from our dictionary, Nagad is the Shoresh or root to tell. How is it used in the verse? Vyaged lo. Right. Vyaged lo. So the Yud is an indication of the future tense. Just if we just had Yaged, it would mean he will tell. But there is a form, a grammatical form in the, the Bible called Vav Hahipuch. Vav Hahipuch, or the overthrowing Vav. Why is it an overthrowing Vav? It overthrows the future tense and transforms it into the past tense. So Yagid, or Yaged, he will tell becomes vaya gate he told and the translation of the first um verse do you want to try the translation of the first line uh duncan vaya gate and he and he told and he told him Shemuel. right exactly right well done this is another hebrew form vaya gate lo and he told him Shmuel, he told Shmuel. It's very common. Um, Nancy, let me ask you to take a turn. Okay. We have in the second line, the very last word is a, a shoresh, a verbal root. And we're going to look that root up in the Hebrew dictionary. We have the chaf chet dalet, which you did a nice job on. You want to give that one more shot, the pronunciation? Uh, the, the, oh, Beautiful. Chichet. So our job is to look that word up in the dictionary, okay? Okay. So let's go over to the dictionary. Before I share, I'm going to go back to the very beginning. Now I'm going to share. And I'm going to scroll. We're in alphabetical order, Hebrew alphabetical order. Let me see when you say, let me know when you see chichid. Yes, I'll tell you. There you go in the second page. Well, well the done. The first one is withhold. Right. Nice. So armed with that knowledge, we might be able to go back and piece together a little more meaning from uh, our, our verse. Uh, Duncan, what does Villo mean? At Villo. And not. And not. So if we say, if we know that Chicheid means withhold, Villo Chicheid Mimenu. Do you have some idea of what that might mean? Pardon? Where? Can we translate Villo Chicheid Mimenu? Uh, yeah, I think there's something like uh, he did not uh, hide from uh, from from him. Yeah, from him. Right, he didn't with Right, excellent, yeah. excellent work. So, of course, we still have a lot of words to learn before we can piece all of these all of these verses together fully. But that's that's the idea. Now we can begin to extract some some meaning from the verses. The context here is that uh, Shmuel Samuel has had his first revelations, prophetic revelations. Uh, God has spoken to Samuel. Um, and he's in a tight spot because what God has spoken to Samuel is that Samuel's boss, Eli, the, the high priest, is going to be punished. And um, Eli, Eli has essentially pressured Samuel to reveal God's revelation to him. 
And so this verse is saying, Vayaged lo Shmuel, and Shmuel told him, namely told um, Eli, et kol hadvarim, all of the words of God, velo chichayd mimenu, and he didn't withhold anything from him. So Samuel did the right thing. He he said exactly what, what the revelation was. He was brave, courageous, whatever, faithful, you could say. Vayomar, and he said, Hashem who it is God, Hatov be'inav yasa. It is He who will do what is good in His eyes. God will do what is good in His eyes. So that's the that's that verse. And there's there's more work we can do in terms of being Hebrew detectives. Uh, let me just uh, revise on who's with us. Maybe I can get somebody else involved in the exercise. Um. Let me let me involve you once more, Duncan. It's such a pleasure to have you with us, and and your contribution is so fantastic. Uh, with your you have some advanced advanced skills with the Hebrew. I hope this is helpful to you, though, brother. Thank you. So let's take another look at the verse, Duncan. This time, let's focus on a verb, on a noun rather. Mm -hmm. So we have this word here can you read that word for us kindly Hadevarim. Uh, right so the the noun in its simplest form is the dalit that resh let's pretend for a second that we don't know the meaning of that word um okay. we need to look up davar in our dictionary so let's go over to the dictionary let me scroll to the top. And I'll scroll slowly, slowly. Let me know when, when you see Davar. Yeah, Davar, the thing on the word. Right. So let's let's figure out what's going on in the verse. We have in blue a grammatical uh, bit at the beginning, a prefix, and then we have in blue at the end, a grammatical bit. Do you know what this grammatical bit, the ha, means when we see it at the beginning of a word? Ha. The, the right, the definite article. And then what about this im? What does im tell us? Like a plural. Right. So if we take davar and we add ha and im, ha dvarim, what what is the meaning? Hadvarim. Right. What the things? Be? The things or the words. Right. So this is the process that we're we're starting now in class is to understand what our our root is, whether it's a a, a verbal root or a or a noun, and then how these blue prefixes and suffixes um, give us the final meanings. So this is the idea of the uh, of the of the analysis of the scripture, and then beyond that, we try and give our advanced readers an opportunity to do some more reading. Um, I'm going to try once more. Johanna, are you going to unmute and give us some reading, or or you're not, or or don't you want to do that tonight? Let me see who else I could invite. Um, how about Joseph? I haven't given you a chance to read, brother. Could you do some reading for us, Joseph? And then we'll close? Yes. Let's see if I can get Joseph into the mix yes. here. Yes. Um, am I not on? Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Great. Sorry, I, I no. had double muted my microphone and the meeting microphone. Not, not No problem. And by the way, your level has just been so beautiful over the last several weeks you really made a nice effort and and the, the the experience is very nice coming from your studio so if you would just give us one verse with your reading we'd be very grateful okay let me let me just find it here it would be this right vayigdal vayigdal shemuel vayawe Haya Imo 
נייס. ולא הפיל. רייט. מקל. מקול. מקול. דבריו. ארצה. אקזקטלי. ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,ארצה,